What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. So today, I'm gonna go in detail about LFOs, or also known as low frequency oscillators. Now, there's also a little brother called envelopes. These are both sources, and they're very important sources when you're using the modulation matrix. Now this is one of the keys in sound design, and if you want to make dope sounds, crazy unique sounds, you're going to need to learn LFOs and envelopes. Okay, so an LFO basically is low frequency oscillator, and what that means is, alright, they have high frequency oscillators, and those are what synthesizers use to synthesize sound. Now the low frequency oscillator is a much slower frequency or speed. Now oscillation is the spinning of a signal, sort of like you can look at it like a motor that's going in revolutions over and over and over, but at a a certain pattern. Now the pattern of this LFO is called the waveform. Now when you pick a waveform, you could pick a sign which is up and down sloping smoothly or saw sharply and basically you link the LFO or there's many um, waveforms by the way all the way up to random but um it's limitless okay so basically when you're taking the LFO and you're trying to sound design with the LFO the main thing you want to do is think alright where do I want to root this LFO to the LFO is a source and you're gonna look for something to connect it to, which is the destination. So a lot of examples of really cool destinations you could root an LFO to is pitch. So you could have it drifting up and down out of pitch and it's a very cool detuning effect. Um, another very cool way is linking the LFO to filter frequency. Now that will bring the frequency on the filter in and out depending on your parameters of your LFO, but it's going to sound really cool like it's going underwater or coming out of water uh, if you have a low pass filter or plenty of other effects with comb filters, high pass filters, band pass filters, uh, and band reject filters. Uh, basically lots of cool crazy ways to modulate your sound. All right, now, if you know about an LFO, if you learn about it, then you're gonna need to know what an envelope is because an envelope is like an LFO's little brother. An envelope is basically the same as a LFO, except instead of a waveform, you have an ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now, you basically create your uh, your envelope curve with those four sometimes there's an added one um hold a h um d s r but uh hold basically is it holds it for a second and then it goes to your it, it, so if you have um an envelope it'll be the hold will be straight across basically like it just holds the exact sample for a couple minutes or or, or synth sound for a couple seconds, not minutes. Anyways, I'm getting very, very, I'm becoming very confusing, so let me get back into what I was saying. An envelope is, the envelope is the curve, and that's the wave, that's basically the substitute for the waveform. Now, it's just like an LFO if you press the loop button. Now, envelopes have loop buttons and it'll keep doing that little envelope curve and keep going just like an evolution on a motor. A revolution on a motor and they're very cool so these envelopes practical uses would be putting them on a, a amp um, playback or sample playback or synth playback so the amp it uh, ADSR envelope will basically show it will enable you to edit how the sound is triggered and played now envelopes could be rooted to anything pans, volume, which is the same as amp. Um, they could be rooted to pitches and detuning effects, unisons, chorus, anything. So the envelope and the LFO are very similar except the LFO has a waveform shape and the envelope has an attack decay sustain release curve now 
the envelope and the LFO have one common thing. They have the speed or the rate is what they call it. Now the rate is how fast that your LFO will go in these revolutions and, and or envelope goes in these loops or if you have the loop off, how fast it'll go through the curve. Now, it sounds very confusing, but it's not. It's really very simple. Now, you take these LFOs and these envelopes and you link them to destinations, which is basically how you make a sound sound interesting and how you sound design and into another realm of sounding very, very unique. Now, a lot of sound designers, they skip over this because they don't really go in depth and see how important these are. Now, a lot of people will be like, cool, use an LFO on a filter, but that's the basic part. It sounds very cool on a filter, but pitch is very important because you could change the way it sounds. You can make it sound more analog or detuned, or you can make it go off axis and back on axis like a tape drift. Well, the pitch, or you could even make it go up and down and sound ghostly. Anyways, the pitch is very cool. Uh, the filters are very cool. Um, panning is very, very dope when you're using envelopes and LFOs because it gives it a stereo aspect. But uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, an example of using an LFO and an envelope in a synthesizer's modulation matrix. And I'm going to just basically show you how you could take a very simple sound and make it sound very unique very minimally with just a couple LFOs and envelopes on a couple destinations. Let's go. And I loaded up a Europa and it is reset to normal levels. I mean, to initialized patch. I have a loop that we're going to just play while we edit the, while we put the um, LFOs and the envelopes in the modulation matrix. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I'll play it. I'll play it while we do it. Um, let's do. Let's put it on the pan. So envelope three. Let's turn. So you already hear what's happening. It's the third envelope. This is what's happening. Look at the speed or the rate. We can sync it, put down the levels a little bit. Okay, so that's the stereo effect with a pan. Let's put the LF, let's put an LFO on the engine uh, pitch. Now you have to be real careful, too much sounds crazy. I like putting it around like six. All right, so that I'm sorry. So the LFO two, that's this one. We could we could uh, slow it down or beat sync it. That's tempo sync. See that ghoulish effect? I like the the detuned tape sound. All right, now for LFO three, let's put it on uh, the shape. And the shape is basically this right here. That, that, that's the shape shifting knob for the Europa. That's LFO three, so we could edit the delay, the waveform shape and the speed. Okay, so it's a lot more interesting already. Uh, this is an envelope. This is the amp envelope. Let's bring the release up. Now let's put some basic effects. That was the portamento. I put a phaser, a delay, and, and reverb. 
so you could already see how how it went from a basic sound to something interesting in a matter of five minutes catch you guys on the next episode till next time uh, thanks for watching and uh, salute